made her debut actually uh, on in on the stage at the first Avignon Theatre Festival in 1947, and then she moved onto the stage here in Paris at the Comédie Française. So she was a serious theatre actress before she got perhaps her most prominent cinema role, which was in 1958's um, Elevator to the Gallows by Louis Malle, and then she went on to have a fantastic role in Michelangelo's uh, Antonioni's La Notte in 1961. She played Lydia uh, with Marcello Mastroianni and Monica Vitti alongside her there. She also then then branched out into Hollywood uh, to a certain extent. 1976 saw her in Elia Kazan's uh, The Last Tycoon, and then she had a very eclectic uh, career afterwards, both in France and abroad, doing television, film, theatre. Um, after her passing today, of course, the tributes have been pouring in from the world of artists, the film industry. Uh, Brigitte Bardot called her an exceptional person, an uncommon person, and France's president, Emmanuel Macron, tweeted a tribute to her, saying that she was a legend of cinema and theatre and that she was an artist who absolutely engaged with the whirlwind of life. Now the whirlwind of life of course that he's referring to there is the tourbillon de la vie. That's the song which she charmed the whole world with when she sang it in Jules et Jim. Let's take a listen to that. Je me suis saoulée en l'écoutant, l'alcool fait oublier le temps. Je me suis réveillée en sentant des baisers sur mon front brûlant, des baisers sur mon front brûlant. On s'est connu, on s'est reconnu, on s'est perdu de vue, on s'est perdu de vue, on s'est retrouvé, on s'est séparé, puis on s'est réchauffé. Chacun pour soi est reparti dans le tourbillon de la vie. Je l'ai revu un soir à la la, elle est retombée dans mes bras. 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 Elle est retombée dans certain films. In fact, she narrated the semi-autobiographical uh, novel of Marguerite Durat, The Lover, in 1992, when that was made into a film. And ironically, actually, she played Durat in a later film, Cet Amour-là, in 2001. And she, becomes, she became so well-respected in the industry that she ended up also serving on quite a few juries. Yes, yeah, she was. She was very much a, a recognised, respected, uh, important figure here in France and abroad, actually. She was twice president of the jury in Cannes. She was uh, president of the jury in Berlin. She received an honorary Academy Award from the Academy of uh, Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in the US. And she, of course, won three César, as you mentioned, here in France during her career. Later on in life, she became a little bit more outspoken about certain political and social issues she believed in. For example, in 2002, she supported socialist candidate uh, Lionel Jospin in the presidential election here in France. She also participated in Israeli director Amos Gitai's film in 2007, uh, Disengagement, alongside Juliette Binoche, which is quite an unflinching look at the situation in the Middle East. So she didn't shy away from serious uh, subject matter. So I think today France has lost an important public figure, but also mainly uh, the greatest actress in the world, according to Orson Welles.